What's up, guys? This is Junior from JNC. Who do we have here and what you did today? Reese Uhas, uh, and I got top 16 at YCS Philadelphia with Fat Samurais. Let's go. Any shout outs? Yes, shout out to JNC Collectibles, obviously, our store, our team. Wow. Um, they showed up pretty well today. Uh, a bunch in Top Cut, it's always nice to see. Um, shout out to Joel, my roommate. Adios. Um, my testing partner, we play a lot. Um, he had a lot of ideas of like what to cut from the deck. I had a lot of ideas what to add, so definitely a big shout out to him. Uh, shout out to Cooper. It's Cooper. Let's go. He already knows. If you know, you know. Um, shout out to Yampi. He couldn't be here with us, unfortunately, but he's here with our hearts. All right, uh, Shout out to Unmatched Gaming. Chris Uranus Locals, Best Locals in PA. Go there like almost every week. Oh, yes. um, and shout out to all the boys. I can't mention everyone in the video will be forever, obviously, but. <laughs> Facts. All right. How are your mashups today? Uh, matchups are pretty normal. Uh, the only thing that wasn't normal was I didn't play against any Despia and I like had cards for Despia, but we played against, I played against no branded. Um, only one purely, strangely enough. Uh, two mirrors, two flus, but the flu guy, it was the same flu guy that I played in Swiss. I played him in the uh, first round of Top Cut. Gotcha. Um, and then a bunch of cash, but that's what I was prepared for. So I was ready for the cash matchup. Of course. All right, show us the goo. Um, getting right into it, standard three of this guy. Three of this guy, uh, three of this guy. These cards are still good, obviously. Post list. Um, this one's a little worse just because it's not one card combo anymore. Gotcha. Um, pouring out, pouring one out for my homie Scarecrow, unfortunately. Um, these are all self-explanatory though. At least for like this list, they're all just really stupid, really insane, yeah. and you have to max out on them. How you feel about the hit? Uh, a little sad. I think I'll still play the deck. It still has some pretty good lines. It has some crazy combos still. Yeah. But losing Scarecrow entirely. It's a little sad. Yeah. Um, thankfully, I found out about the list after I'd already played my round, and one of my friends was playing their round um, yesterday when it dropped, so I wasn't caught off guard and didn't misplay because of it. Right. Um, three of this is still a starter, but it's the worst starter because if you summon it, it loses to like almost every hand trap. Um, and if your opponent summons this, it's probably telegraphing that their hand is pretty weak because it just loses to like so much. And if they like, ogre this when they go to search uh, to switch it, you just kind of lose the game. Uh, you can't punish like this with like gamma like you can the other ones. All right. uh, two Benjamin Benki. You have to play oh. two in case you draw one. Um, it's also not like awful to draw with like something else if you have like none of like the good one card starters. Right. Um, but you have to play two because Makashi has to place it in. Obviously, that's this is pretty standard. Um, standard one ofs. Uh, I did like two of this in testing, but. Uh, I had to make a bunch of cuts for the list because I didn't want to play like I played 42. I didn't want to play anything over that. And even 42 felt bad. Right. Um, but it, it worked fine for the day. Um, this one is just really good. Like opening it already helps you play on Droll. Like you have to kind of search this off of this uh, to play around Droll. Like people, I see people like Soul Pierce or Link it off, search Bike, and then get Droll, and then they lose the game. Like you're not really supposed to do that. You're supposed to search with Kaushi. Or you're supposed to search this off this like yeah you, you might have a weaker board but you don't lose to droll and just pass on scarecrow right um, which changes now obviously uh, one of these are one of are all really good i think this one can maybe be bumped up more post list like this card's just not bad like going second if you already have stuff in game in grave it's just a really good like free summon uh if your opponent has two monsters um this one is just kind of utility uh it is also like necessary for like a full full combo i mean so is this one like both of these do the same thing for the full combo but Going into the event, I didn't really expect a full combo ever because people are playing too many hand traps. Gotcha. So like, if you're playing like, I think if you're playing like cards like Gearbox and Tunneler, it's just not like as worth it because there's too many hand traps. Um, uh, that's what like Droll and I uh, were testing. Like he told me to cut it because you just don't need it. If you like do if you resolve that, you're you're already winning. You're winning more. You don't need like win more cards. Um, but even without full combo, and these cards are still good. They're just good extenders. Like if you get nibbed and you've already searched this, you can like special this, then equip this to it and keep playing. This has to equip to super heavy. Uh, that's it for the one of Samurai. That's it for all the Samurais actually. Um, I played two Regulus. Uh, I was playing three originally in testing. I wanted to play three again, um, but I had to make cuts and then three of this, one of them had to go. But this card is like really good, the hard open um, on, on its own. Or even like going like second into boards, like if you discard um, motorbike, and then you just do this, it forces so much, and it just gives you like really good protection. Um, versus one of my opponents, I went uh, bike uh, effect because I had gam in hand, so I wanted him to shifter me or drill me. So I biked, um, searched uh, Kaoshi, 
and then I went Regulus target the bike, forced him to shift there, otherwise he can't use it at all, and then I gamma him, and then that was just that was just winning was the game. Um, right. But gamma on your own turn is almost always winning the game. Um, but I would play three if I can, but playing multiples of these means you don't have to search off Genius, so you can search this, and having this for the follow-up is just way, way, way better, I feel like. Like, if you're playing against Cash or something, right. it tells them, you better kill me now because I have this plus, like, engine follow-up for next turn, so you better do something like crazy. Gotcha. Um, here is really good, though. Uh, into the hand traps, three of this card. All right, I'm glad it's at one. This card's stupid. Um, one game I drew driver. Well, I drew driver a couple games. So there's one game where I actually it was crazy that I drew driver because I was able to pendulum summon it and then make Barone oh as God. well as Dispater, and it was just super overkill. Wow. Um, but yeah, definitely getting cut after list, uh, which is fair. Uh, three nib. Uh, I need it because this deck really struggles going second against cash. Um, and I only won one die roll like the entire weekend, pretty much. Um, wow. And when I did, I bricked. It was like the only time I bricked, so I was like, of course. But you need this to go second against Cash. The Kaiju helps too, the Gammas help too. Because if you don't have like, if you're not stopping Cash, you're just losing. Uh, three of the stupid card, self-explanatory. It's just really good. Three Ogre, it's good against pretty much everything. It's good against the Mirror. It's kind of ass against Cash, so I side it out a couple times. I side it out sometimes for like, the stuff in my side that is just better against cash right um because like it, there's an argument for it being good against like hitting birth but they should have a rise heart or even shifter so it's usually dead so it's just not worth like taking the chance to brick on it if you don't have anything better to put in from your side it's fine to keep in gotcha. uh, then the weird hand traps i just did two and two um the logic is literally the meme of because i want to see it some of the times but not all the times this was just because i was like i should respect branded um, right. it turns out I didn't have to because I didn't play again. I didn't see it anywhere like today. I didn't play it at all the entire tournament. And then this one is just something you can use under Shifter and a Rise Heart. Um, it's probably the worst one. Like still not good against Cash because if they go Unicorn and you drop this on it, it just feels really bad, especially if they just like birth Unicorn back later and then use it again. Right. Um, but at least you can use it under uh, Shifter and a Rise Heart, similar to Ash, and you can't use Ogre and Troll obviously under them. Gotcha. Um, I think they're fine though. I played Flu twice, so like it, this and the Nibs were easy side outs, I guess, for some of those cards. That's it for the hand traps, and then the uh, super cool secret engine I played was Spice. Uh, Citadel and Overdrive. Um, I've been playing these a lot in testing. Uh, the whole logic was I wanted something that wasn't really bad to set, like Lancia, because like, I don't I don't think Lancia is good this format. Right. If you Lancia cash, who cares? It just doesn't seem worth it. Um, so like setting this to like out Rainbow Magician is better because like a, this card does something. Um, for those who don't know what it does, you target a machine you control, summon a Machina from deck with a different name and then destroy the target. So at the end of your combo, if you have like a Scarecrow, if you have like something, like if they hand trap, the idea is if they hand trap you, you have something better to kind of pass on. And even if you full combo, you set this, you can like do cheeky things with like popping Regulus or if you special Soul Gaia booster and then just leave it, that's your machine target for this. And it summons this guy from deck. And this guy won me a lot of games. He won me two of my games in Top Cut and then a bunch in Swiss too. Yeah, you um, probably caught off guard a lot of people not knowing yeah, like everyone the was reading interactions this card. of it. Everyone was reading this card. Um, and then he's just pretty much a Regeki for their board. He kills the machine you control and then everything they control with attack less than equal to it. So a lot of the times he targets himself. Um, unless I'm trying to play around Ogre, because if you Ogre this and it targets itself, it doesn't resolve because it has to check his attack. Um, but it, it got there a lot. There was a guy too where after like it killed, he killed one of my, he killed my uh, Saratobi, the, this, this idiot. He killed this and I brought it back and he forgot and then he just lost to wow. me having this again. Um, but this card's other effect too. So people are probably like, well, you can't play traps because then half your cards are dead. Um, surprisingly, the ones that aren't dead, uh, which is really funny is Soul Piercer doesn't care about spilling traps in Grave. This thing doesn't care about spelling traps and grave. This thing doesn't care about spelling traps and grave. And obviously the one I just said, Soul Piercer, they don't care about spelling traps and grave. Link one does, and then the other cards do. But this has an effect that uh, you can just banish it. So that goes to Emerald, three machines that are banished or in your grave. Or, yeah, banished or in grave, then draw one. Um, but you can't, you can't use both effects on the same turn, which is fine. You usually just do a, summon this on your opponent's turn. This is in your grave on their turn, which doesn't matter at all. And then on your turn, you just banish it in draw phase. To get the emerald some stuff back draw a card uh and then just play from there and it's really good because it's any machines it's not just earth machines um so you can put this back there's a game where against punk um i had to get rid of this early and i needed to like put it back to out the psychic end punisher um, which was the game plan 
I didn't get to it because I got killed before I could do that because I didn't draw this, but the theory is that you can also just put this back if you need to. But it is also good just for putting back some of the one-ofs and some of the, and like the Linkless Scarecrows. Um, I would definitely, I would probably still play this going forward because I just think it's really good. Yeah, um, really it did well catch a lot of people off guard and he won a lot of games. Um, but this is my own like personal tech. I saw some guy playing this in Metal Country, which just doesn't make sense because you don't <laughs> need to search on your opponent's turn. Right. You're already probably doing that with the Soul Pierce or Regulus thing. Mm -hmm. This is just way better because it's another interruption. Plus, if they Dark Ruler you, you at least have something else you can do. Um, but I'll go into the extra because some of the times I was playing around Dark Ruler uh, by hitting cards. I'll get to it after I go through the links. Gotcha. Pour one out for my homie. Really unfortunate. R.I.P. Two free slots, so I guess now. So. It's self-explanatory. There's no reason to go over this. Mm -hmm. uh, genius, really good. It's all the royal there's to say. Search any machine. Um, free like negates for stuff. I baited out someone Zeus with it, forcing them to Zeus, um, and then I just killed them through that. It's just yeah, it's really all around really good. Um, Lambda for the full like Omega Dispater combo, which is what which I was playing. I'll get into it after it. Again, I get to the synchros. Uh, I only really right. summoned it once, but that's just because, like I said, if you're full comboing, you're probably winning anyway, so there wasn't a lot of times to summon it because my opponent almost always had, like, Droll or Nib or some hand trap that I had to stop or play around. Uh, a card that I might end up cutting is this. I literally didn't summon it at all this weekend, like, not even once. There's just no reason to. Um, if I'm full comboing, I don't end on this. What's your so, end, end? What's your whole end board? Uh, the whole, the, whole the end board typical ideal usually end board. is, and we'll get into that now because of the synchros. Right. It's usually Omega for two, Dispater, and Lambda with a Gamma in hand. Gotcha. Um, so play the one Omega, the other eight to play is the obvious this, and then this guy. He's really good. Um, there was a time like testing, I wasn't playing him, and I was like, I don't know why I did that. This card is just really crazy. Like, right. It's just, I mean, it's your time card, mm -hmm. which is one thing. And then it's actually also just good to end on because the spell and trap popping is just really good. Uh, awesome. Self explanatory. Um, Four people like go crazy. I did play Barone. Oh, okay. Uh, but I don't usually end on it. The only time I ended on it, like turn one, w without getting hand trapped, was when I drew like the driver and I was able to make both of these. But mm -hmm. the idea is you do this early on, you hit a card from their hand. Um, when you summon this, you bring it back and then you hit another one. Right. I, mean, I think people, I think Nesh popularized the combo, so people probably already know the combo. And then you end on, they have two cards out of their hand, three if they hand trapped you. And you can do like the full thing through a hand trap. I did once through the troll, but that was because my hand was kind of crazy. Um, so if they use a hand trap, they're down the three cards in their hand, or they're down the two cards in their hand, because right. they rip two, they're drawing one for turn, they have three. Mm -hmm. You have a, a monster negate, and you have Lambda with a Gamma in hand, and then Regulus as well. So you have your Omni negate. And then there would be times where I would just also have, on top of that, this. So it's really hard for them to push through. Yeah. Um, this card was crazy. It's really good. Omega is really dumb. There's even some times where I got hand trapped twice and I wouldn't even end on like Barone or something. I'd just do this and hit another card and have like the trap and be fine. Have hand traps. Uh, that's it for the Synchros, Xyz, this package. This package is really silly. Yeah. Um, even You don't even need to like always search regular this, but it's nice just to have a free thing, but it's just because it's a big Zeus. Where's uh, uh, this card, kind of self-explanatory, plan B, uh, <laughs> just one Zeus. Um, I could mump it to two. I didn't need it really, the second one at all today. Um, actually, there's well, there one game where I needed the second, but it really just didn't matter. And then the uh, last card I played, which uh, this card was crazy. This got me like two games, one of the games in Top Cut, and then two like games uh, during Swiss. Um, shout out to Tyler Blaker for giving me the card because I had to scramble to find this. Uh, this card is silly. Um, so for those that don't know, it's just a big beefy 4800 defense attack and you can attack in defense, similar to the ninja. Right. It's super heavy, so it's usually what they That's do. That's their main effect. Um, the whole theory behind me playing this was I didn't have room for access code and unicorn in my extra deck. And I didn't just want to play like one, because like just playing unicorn, like yeah, there's a, it's like not bad, but I didn't really feel like I wanted to play it without just being able to go in the access code for free. Um, right. This you can discard up to two cards to pop two cards your opponent controls, similar to access popping, and then it's just very big and can attack, similar to access having big attack to beat over stuff. So I'm like, it's kind of a worse access unicorn together in one extra deck slot, and its other effect is you can banish all spell and traps from the graves and do 200 for each. So wow. this Wait. plus Barone is 78. If they have one spell and trap and grave, that's game because it does 200. And I did that in top cut. Um, Game three versus Mathmech. 
I banished the Ibron, popped their Super Factorial that was dead, made this. Because uh, then you make this a lot when you use like Wakaoshi Secret Effect. Uh, and Wakaoshi, when you use it to affect a summon from deck by discarding, it locks you into Super Heavies. Right. So your opponent's going to eat caught off guard and like, okay, what's he going to do? Make Ninja. You make this uh, with three of them, search your follow up because you're probably making a Soul Piercer, and then just swing. I didn't play the the soul the soul thing that lets it attack twice. I don't think you need to. I I'll, I think that's win more. There's no reason for it because right. if you're summoning this, you probably have game anyways. Of course. Um, but yeah, this card was crazy. I'm glad I played it. Oh, I'll go in the side deck then. Uh, side deck is sort sort of standard. Uh, one pank for cash. Uh, two kaiju's also for cash. So these come in versus cash, and I have the kaiju in the main. Those are really like if I could play more kaiju's, I think I would have. Um, Three retaliating C. Mm. I never used it because I only played one purely, and I only played well. I played zero branded. This was for those decks. Uh, yeah, I literally put it in once. I mean, I, in theory, it's still good, but I just didn't play any of those decks. Uh, right. So, but I wanted to respect them, so that's why I had it in. Of course. Uh, two DD Crow and three Beast Steals, two Magna, one Druis. Uh, I wanted to play five DD Crow type cards for Despia as well because I really didn't want to get gimmick puppeted, and this is also just good against purely. Um, this also isn't terrible in the mirror. Like I cited in for the mirror too. Nice. Um, this card has more applications in the beast deals. The beast deals are just like more high reward when you summon them because it's half a baron basically. Gotcha. Um, I still would probably keep these in going forward. I just didn't run into any Despia, so there's no like reason for them. Well, I mean these came in versus Mathmech, so that was the, really the only time they're in my deck like all weekend was when I played Mathmech. All right. And then uh, three of this card, you need it. You don't have any spell and trap removal. I didn't play Garua. I didn't think I needed to. I played this though. Also, as for spell and trap removal, um, because it's searchable spell and trap removal, and it has skill drain because it attributes for cost. Huh. Uh, unfortunately, it does lock you into super heavies when you special it from your hand for free. But if you're adding skill drain, that's fine. You can just make that's this guy. Yeah. You can just make the other guy, um, and you're just kind of you're just playing from there. He's in there, but um, you can't make this with this because he's like a ten or something, and obviously he's not. But uh, it's good. I put it in a couple times versus the labs I played because my whole thing was I wanted to respect the trap matchup a little bit. So I'm like, if I have this, which is searchable, and Pank, uh, and these, makes the trap matchup good. This is just for like Rainbow Magician and other things. Right. But I had these plus the trap for Rainbow Magician. So I only got Rainbow Magician twice, I think, and it, it didn't really matter. Um, the one time because I had the trap to set, and the other time because I was losing the, I was losing the game anyways. So there was the Rainbow Magician was just like icing on the cake for them. But Going forward, I'll still play this card. It's just it's just searchable. It's a tech card. Um, I don't think you need more because you don't really want to like hard open it because if you just start with it, you're locking the super heavies. You want to just search it like a bit later uh, to out stuff. I think it's good. And then if you revive it with like, uh, well, not anymore, but with Scarecrow or something, <laughs> right. or, uh, you can tribute it and pop something. And then you don't lock because you only get locked and you special it for free from your hand. You also can steal the card that you pop, but like that doesn't that's not super relevant. It is for taking imperms. Um, shouldn't really come up, but you, you can steal the card that you pop. Uh, but that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, that awesome. did well. It was a lot of fun to play. I had a really good time. Um, the grandma and grandpa buff came in clutch because they were like, let me stay at their place for the week, so shout out to them too. Let's uh, go. I didn't have to spend like crazy amounts on my hotel. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Awesome. Look forward well, to seeing you guys in the next one. Cause let's go. We're up, it's all up from here, baby. It's all the beginning. All right, congrats on top 16. This is Junior signing out. Peace.